Welcome. In this session on natural deduction, we'll explore some further properties of predicate logic. In a previous session, we explored the concept of soundness, which is that every provable sequent is a semantic entailment, and completeness, which is that every semantic entailment is a provable sequent. In 1928, the great mathematician David Hilbert asked this. And he didn't ask it in exactly this way. We'll rephrase Hilbert's um, original question into ours. And that is, if C is a formula, and by formula we mean a formula in the predicate logic of natural deduction, we can ask, does the semantic entailment of C hold? That is, we can ask, is this a valid formula? And this was an outstanding problem for a few years. And in 1936, uh, let's note that this was independently. This was answered in an interesting way. It was answered, one, by Alonzo Church, and it was answered, two, by Alan Turing. And Alan Turing is very famous in computer science. Alonzo Church is very famous in mathematical logic. The way that they put it was, they reworded this as, and again, we'll just do this colloquially, not technically, reworded as, is, is there a finite algorithm that determines whether a formula is valid. And their answer, remarkably, was no. And this means, so the result of this is we say not just a formula, but we say all of predicate logic. We say that predicate logic, I'll say, has undecidable, undecidable formulas. And in fact, it has an infinite number. It's not just that there's one formula that's difficult. It's that there's an infinite variety of these. And one, one way that was illustrated much later, uh, not much later, but later, um, this was in... 1946, Emil Post proposed a specific example, proposed, and he called it a correspondence problem. And this correspondence problem is, if you're really interested in logic, this correspondence problem may be worth some further study. And the concept behind this is that what Emil Post did was he created an infinite, infinite search space. That is, he, what Emil Post did was he found a finite problem that had an infinite search space that had to be checked. And if you have to check an infinite search space, then you can't determine that with a finite algorithm. So in 1936, Church and Turing used highly technical arguments that demonstrated 
that Hilbert's thesis was false. That is, there is no algorithm for determining whether a formula can be proved or not in predicate logic. And in 1946, Post came up with an elegant example that could be infinitely extended and referred to this as the correspondence problem and showed that what this did was it created an infinite size search space that had to be checked. And so if you have found some difficulties with a formula in logic, you're not alone. The formula, it may not just be difficult. Some formulas are in fact undecidable. Now, what's the upside to undecidability? It's contests, is that as I am recording this, there are contests for computer programs that solve uh, problems in predicate logic. They, they will so either have a sequent or a formula and determine whether the formula is valid or not. And so people have contests about writing programs, and they're writing programs more or less in a meta logic. And so in that meta logic, can you prove whether or not a formula is true or not? And that is an, a result that comes, that arises from all of this undecidability.